Now we will look at how to record voices onto the voice module. So this is how initially the circuit was set up. The LCD speaker module, the power supply and speakers power supply. This is the speaker. So now for recording we just need the speaker module, the speaker and a jumper along with another jumper. So for this I will disconnect the power supply of it, connect the battery directly where the special has 12 volts. So when it is special as 12 volts, I am connecting a battery there. That's it. Now it is ready for being recorded or playing in I will just disconnect this connector. Now <coughs> here you can see the REC pin. The REC pin. So that when these two pins are short, you can record voices onto it. So just to know what are the voices inside it, you just need to insert a insert a jumper into it and just short it. That means just connect it to ground. So these are the voices which are previously fed into it. Now I am placing it in the second slot. Now I just place it in the second slot. Here I just again short it to the ground. Plus one. So these are all predetermined. Now I will just I'll start recording with it. So this is the first pin. I place it in the first slot here. Now I will just short these two. After shorting these two, I will just have to make this one to ground. You will hear a one beep. After the beep, you can speak anything into this up to 7.5 seconds. After 7.5, after you are recorded, you just remove this from the ground and the voice is fed into it. Again, a beep would be indicated there. That means the first beep is start of the voice. Second beep is end of the voice. Example, this one. I just place it somewhere on this 8 slots and these two are short now. The REC, these two are short. Now if I place this to the ground, you can hear the beep. Once I remove it, see, all this was recorded in it. I just remove this one and this I played. So that was uh, spoken by me itself. So they are recorded. Now I will just empty each of the slots and record 1 to 8 there. So starting with this one, this is 1. So I will just record a 1 into it. Starting, these two are short. That means it is in record mode. Now I connect this to ground, I will hear a voice. Once I hear the voice, I will just play. 1. This is the second one. Now in the second slot I will place this jumper and connect it to ground. Again in the second slot I will record it as 2. 2. That is also done. Now the third one. 3. So this way you can start recording up to 8 voices. 4. Five, six, seven, and the last one, eight. Now all the voices are done. I'll just remove this from here and start seeing what are recorded there. One. This is two. I am just connecting it to ground. So each of the slot has a stored voice in it. So I just connect it to ground. The voice that is stored in each slot is just playback. 3. This one is the fourth one. 4. These are the voices which I just now recorded. Now for this to be working with this one I will just connect this here. Connect it where the microcontroller would be giving the outputs for that. Then I can I remove the battery from here. I just connect the battery at the main. Connect the RFID reader there. And connect the power supply as shown in the first video. So these are the basic connections now. Now I will just switch it on. So you can hear that when the system was switched on, the eighth played, the eighth recorded voice was played. See again. Okay. 
so 8 that means 8 was the welcome message so in place of 8 we should be recording some welcome message there so I will start recording the welcome message I will first see which one is 8 so I will place it here this is the 8th one so this is the 8th one so in place of 8 I will record the welcome message for recording I will have to short these two pins I place a jumper this way and connect the 8th slot connect the 8th slot to the ground now I am connecting it and record the welcome message welcome to RFID based bus announcement this is what is recorded in it now let's check it what is recorded in it Okay, we'll record it once again. So, once I hear the beep, I'll just start recording it. RFID based bus announcement. So, this is what I've recorded. I'll just remove this, connect it here, and restart the system. So this is what was recorded as the welcome message. Now take the tags, look at each of them. Find the first one, this is the first one, place it here and see what voice is played. When I show the first tag, that means when the first bus arrives, 7 is being placed. So in place of 7, I should be recording bus number 1. So I'll check which one. In the first, see all the all the tags. Now the second tag. For first tag, it was seven. For second tag, for second tag, it was six. So in place of six, I should be recording bus number two. This is the third one. So I'll show this third tag. This is the five. That means at the when the third bus arrives, five is being played. In place of five, I should be recording the corresponding voice tag. This is the fourth tag now. For four, four is being announced. And similarly for five, three is being announced. So I'll start recording each of the voice for that. So just disconnect this from here and check which one was seven. This is two. So on the other side it would be seven. This is the seventh one. 7 and next one is 6. 6 next one is 5 so I will start recording from 7 7 is for bus 1 so recording again short these two and just connect these two